Hello everyone, this is Adam with Fear No Evil back with another Saturday security tip. Now, I know it's been a while. Our studio has been relocated, so that explains the pause in operations, but we're back in action and uh, glad to be back here with you providing helpful content. Today we're talking about normalcy bias and how it can get you killed. And there's actually an example in the Bible that we're going to look at of when normalcy bias cost someone his life. It's in 2 Samuel chapter 20, verses 8 through 10. It says, When they were at the great stone, which is in Gibeon, Amasa went before them. And Joab's garment that he had put on was girded unto him, and upon it a girdle with a sword, fastened upon his loins in the sheath thereof. And as he went forth, it fell out. And Joab said to Amasa, Art thou in health, my brother? And Joab took Amasa by the beard with the, with the right hand to kiss him. But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand. So he smote him therewith in the fifth rib, and shed out his bowels to the ground, and struck him not again, and he died. So Joab and Abishai his brother pursued after Sheba, the son of Bichri. So normalcy bias, and how it can get you killed. What is normalcy bias? I'm not going to give you the official uh, definition, but as I understand it, it's our tendency when we hear something or see something or detect something somehow that could possibly be a threat, it's our tendency to dismiss it and to say, oh, it's just, you know, something normal. So, you know, what was that bang? Was that an explosion? Was that a, was that a gunshot? Oh, no, it was just fireworks. It was just a car backfiring. Uh, what was that, you know, scream? Is that, is that a woman in distress? Is she, is she getting attacked? Oh, no, it's just a fox. <laughs> funny joke about that at work, but uh, I'll save that. Um, so we, we have a tendency to dismiss things and pretend that everything is fine. And so that's what happened here with Amasa. And uh, these are two interesting individuals because they were both vying for the position of Minister of Defense of the Israeli Defense Forces. So neither one of these is a, is a slouch when it comes to uh, uh, taking care of themselves and dispatching their enemies. And so, you, you know, Amasa really should have known better because Joab wanted Amasa's job. And so here he comes up, and I don't know exactly whether, um, you know, all this the concealment garment and it fell out. I don't know if Joab was improvising there and like, oops, the sword came out before I planned on it. So let me quick cover it up. If so, you know, if you put yourself in Joab's position and, it, you know, if you're the good guy, in that uh, role, then, you know, way to improvise and, and cover things up. But uh, let's talk about Amasa for a minute. So he, he was presented with two different sets of information. On the one hand, you had a cold-blooded killer, a warrior, an experienced uh, veteran, somebody that stacked bodies like cordwood, had no problem dispatching his enemies. And so um, Joab is a known warrior. And he's all kitted out. He's coming up. He's got his sword in his hand. It probably had the uh, blood of 10 other people on it. And so that should have set some uh, alarm bells off in Amasa's head. That should have been some uh, several red flags right there. But uh, Joab covered it up by pretending to be friendly. He said, hey, brother, how you doing? You're in good health. And, you know, he, he, he approached him. Uh, to give him a traditional Middle Eastern greeting. And I think all that was a ruse. Well, we know it was a ruse uh, just to get into a massive space. And so, you know, he had all this information. That, hey, Job's a dangerous guy. He kills people for a living. He's highly skilled. I see that he's armed. But on the other hand, he's, he's greeting me. He's asking about my health. He's being friendly and his sword's only... Sword's only in his left hand instead of in his right, so, you know, maybe maybe everything's okay. Well, that was his last mistake because he ended up, uh, ended up being disemboweled and wallowing in his blood on the side of the road there. So it didn't work out well for him uh, to ignore all the red flags. It, there was a very uh, thin cover story, if you will, uh, that Joab was presenting, uh, you know, asking about his health and pretending to uh, give him a nice greeting. Um, and we have a tendency to do that also. And it's kind of like the boy that cried wolf. You know, we've heard that, that story so many times. We, you know, it's kind of like uh, car alarms. You know, they, 
uh, were popular in the 80s. Everybody had an alarm and they were always going off. And so after, after a while, nobody paid attention to a car alarm going off. And a lot of times in life, we hear, hear uh, things or see things and we think, well, is that a, uh, something dangerous? Is that a threat? Do I need to uh, pay attention to that? And it ends up being nothing. Um, which is fine. It's great as long as it is nothing, but sometimes it is something and we should pay attention to it. So here, normalcy bias is not my, uh, term, but I'm, I'm going to introduce one that I came up with as far as I know, nobody else has used it. We don't need normalcy bias. We need normalcy confirmation. We don't just need to assume that everything is okay. We need to make sure it's okay. So that's a good thought for you. Uh, Welcome back to the channel. Glad to be back. Glad to be providing helpful content uh, for you. So think of some things in your life where um, you know, you've had some information presented to you and you cho chose to assume um, that it was something innocent where it could have been something dangerous and something you should have been focused on. So don't be quick to go. Go back to condition white. You should be in condition yellow. And if you see something, uh, especially the red flags like uh, Amasa was seeing um keep that in mind and be ready to respond appropriately and i uh, hope that's been helpful to you and if there's anything else i can do contact me at fearnoevil.us we'll see you back here next week for another saturday security tip